Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Numemo here, back with another video. Today I want to show you guys how to connect the new Novation Launchpad X to an iPhone or an iPad or any iOS device. Um, also, I think that this works on all launch pads that you have. So, um, this is this shouldn't be exclusive to the Launchpad X. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> So the first thing that I did here is I actually went on to the App Store and I downloaded this Launchpad app. Um, so the one that I'm talking about is this one here. It's launch. It's called Launchpad Make and Remix Music. Um, cool. So that's the app that we're going to be using for this video here today. Now there are a couple different accessories that you need in order to connect this uh, successfully. The first thing that you'll need is this lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Um, I bought this a while ago so I can connect like microphones and MIDI keyboards to my iPhone and it continues to work for stuff like what we're going to do today. Um, now I did get a little, a little bit fancier um, with uh, my approach this time because usually what happens is that um, I'll connect this this device here and for those of you who are unfamiliar with it just um, so you guys know this here is the lightning port and then it has two ports under here one that is a USB port and this is a lightning port now you can't connect any lightning devices onto here this is solely for the purpose of charging your iPhone uh, because usually whenever you connect a device onto your iPhone it pulls more power than the iPhone has so for example if you connect the launch pad there are a lot of lights on this bad boy and instead of having it drain your iPhone battery you want to connect it to the charge so that way uh, it's getting extra power uh, while it has this connected onto it there are certain devices that as soon as you uh, connect them in the, the, the iPhone will right away tell you that it doesn't have enough power to uh, to kind of uh, connect this device and the launch pad is definitely one of those you can't connect the launch pad without some kind of power source now one thing that I thought about is that let's say that you want to uh, perform with the launch pad in the middle of a park or something uh, where you don't have access to maybe a power outlet what you can do is that you can also buy uh, one of those like um, portable battery chargers and connect it onto here as well so that way you can still uh, do performances of, like in the middle of a park somewhere or somewhere where you don't have access to a power outlet so yeah, that's a way to get around that because usually when you connect certain uh, devices onto here, you're going to want to connect the charger on here as well because uh, the iPhone isn't really designed to, you know, feed all that energy, I guess. <laughs> um, cool. So let's get started. Um, so one thing that you'll notice this doesn't have and it's really, really annoying because new iPhones don't have aux ports. So there's no way to connect headphones. And sometimes what happens is that if you connect this to your iPhone, you connect, let's say, a MIDI keyboard, and let's say you're using wireless headphones, Bluetooth usually has a little bit of latency, and it really, really sucks because let's say you press a note, it'll be a couple milliseconds late that'll kind of ruin the game for you. So this is what I did. I went on Amazon and I got this thing here for like 12 or 13 bucks. Um, it's uh, like a little USB hub and what I'll do is that I'll connect the hub into into this adapter and it gives me these USB ports and on top of that it gives me headphone jack so now I can actually connect wired headphones to here and listen to what I'm playing in real time and I'll show you guys how all of this works okay cool so what I'll do so you, you guys can also hear it is that I have this um, this little Bluetooth speaker that also has an auxiliary port. So this is what I'm going to do. Bam, I'm going to open this up here. I'm going to connect right over here. Place this right there. And then I'm going to connect into this port. Bam. Cool. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the launch pad into any one of these ports. Bam. Cool. Um, huh. I wonder why this has an on and off button. I don't think. Whatever. <laughs> 
And then the last thing I'm gonna need is to connect some charge onto here before we get it connected onto the iPhone. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that same trick that I told you guys about. Here I have like a, a anchor uh, charger outlet thing. So I'm gonna connect a lightning cable here. I got it all charged up. Um, and I'm gonna connect it to right over here. Here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to my iPhone. And there you go, there you have it. It actually is already lit up. Um, let me show you guys. I need to record my screen, hold up. <laughs> Cool, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up that Launchpad app. And, cool, it, there it goes. It, it recognized that I have the Launchpad X connected. And here it has like some, some projects that you guys can go right away start playing with. Uh, this is the Future Trap project. Um, and you'll see that it has, uh, it, it, it's loaded up here to my Launchpad X. And it's, it's already playing here. So there you have it, Launchpad X connected onto my iPhone and playing through what could be headphones or your own little speaker. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. One other thing I wanted to show you guys for those of you who pay attention to my music is that I was actually able to create my own project here on iOS um, where I'm, I was able to like bring over some of my own sounds and kind of create my own launchpad project for iOS. Um, what's up with this? I can't like get everything balanced here. Um, so here you guys go. Uh, what I did here was I transferred over a bunch of sounds from my computer uh, to iCloud and then from iCloud I was able to pull, pull over all those sounds and place them here into this I, uh, launchpad iOS project. Um, and then within here, you can like set up the tempo. It's actually pretty easy to use. If you want me to do like a, a small video on how I actually like programmed everything in here, let me know, drop me a comment. Um, but this is uh, like one of the beats for uh, this new EP that I dropped called Pending. This is for track number one. Um, so if you guys wanna check out what I'm doing here, that's where that's from.
that's pretty cool to kind of be able to put my own beat onto here. Um, and yeah, it's, it's super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, kind of enjoyed this whole kind of like setup. Um, I feel like it looks a little crazy uh, the way I have it right now, but I'm not connected to any uh, outlets or anything. Like I'm, I'm just using this to power uh, my phone and my launch pad and using this as a hub uh, for a speaker or what could be headphones. Um, so yeah, I think this is very awesome and pretty portable uh, for those of you guys who like doing performances kind of out in the wild. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something. If you think this is cool, uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, that track that I was just playing right now is off uh, my new EP. It's called Pending. I'm actually going to link it in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, that would mean the world to me. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, I'm always doing random cool stuff, so show some love. Peace out. Much love. And uh, yeah. catch you guys on the next one. Yeah.